There's nothing to do with this shit. Gotta ask to I am the one, the white, your time don't need a gun to get respect up on the street. Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome to the unfuckable video on KTMX. Today, I'm gonna just talk about why not to use the Nox emulator. You know, the Nox is the one of the greatest emulators in the world, or you can say, on the websites. But the Nox has some bugs and shits in here which makes it really, really worse. Well, Blitz Tax is a light emulator which is really bright. Other simulations are also great and Drive Perks is really comfortable. But recently Nox was going too far and it was too much performance and amazingly it was pretty nice to use. But the new version of it is just too much disgusting and it causes really much problems. Just like it will give you blue screen each time you run it, you'll get blue screen after 5 minutes. Not only that, if you install too much programs, you'll get blue skin instead. Not only that, if you play Asphalt, um, Asphalt Nitro, it won't run. And not even that, you'll get kind of a problem like Google Play Store. You'll never be able to install any apps on Google Play Store. It will say authentication problem. Well, I saw this. I saw this problem with many kinds of emulators. Not only that, I just had this problem on my own phone, but there were a uh, way to fix this. But there's no way to fix it in here because it's an emulator where it's no fix. You can uninstall it, install it about 10 times, you can do it again and again. You can try fixing it, you can try patching it, you can try lucky patcher, you can try to root it, but there's no other fixes. It will crash your computers, and I just noticed that it just it just damaged my own computers. Just like uh, I just damaged my own Windows PC. Now it now it takes many time to run because it has many kinds of ads and stops on the Nox, which really damages. And I would say that Nox isn't really a good emulator to have. It has great great noise performance, but I know uh, you guys know how emulators are great, but I should say I suggest you guys not use any emulators. Even they are great, but I think use a phone is better. And there's some reason people use it, but still I will say it's better not to use it. It's better to use your own computer, not the Android emulator, because it just causes you problems and it will destroy your PC also. And not only that, there's so many problems. I mean, tons of problems, tons of bugs. Sometimes it doesn't run, and if you, if, if somehow, if somehow there's were well, any electricity cartridge in your PC, then it will just got stuck. I mean, if your PC just got shut up, I mean, shut down, then next time the emulator won't start. You need to uninstall it, reinstall it, or sometimes it doesn't work, so you need to reinstall your PC. So I think it's quite enough for you guys, so thanks for watching and be cool, be sure to be careful and don't try knocks at your home.